As India celebrates 75 years of independence, its growth trajectory as one of the world's largest democracies is acknowledged as a global success story. It is crucial to take note of the policy measures and strategies that contributed to both its economic and socio-economic development. Rapid industrialization, creation of public enterprises and subsidies to promote the use of modern agriculture methods and tools have been recognized by experts as some of the early strategies for economic development. However, in this process, its journey from nationalization to privatization cannot be missed. This is the story of disinvestment in its independent India. It started in 1969 when then Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi had declared her decision to nationalize 14 major private banks. In 1980, government nationalized a set of another six private banks. However, for the first four decades after independence, while country was pursuing a path of development, that public sector overgrew itself and its shortcomings resulting in low efficiency, low capacity utilization and low outputs. Hence, a decision was taken in 1991 to follow the path of disinvestment. In 1991-1992, 31 selected public sector undertakings were disinvested invested for rupees 3000 crore followed by which a disinvestment commission was also set in 1996 the department of disinvestment was set up as a separate department in december 1999 and was later renamed as ministry of disinvestment from 2001 from 2004 the department of disinvestment became one of the key departments under ministry of finance the four major areas of its work related to strategic disinvestment minority stake sales asset monetization and and capital restructuring. Some of the companies that have witnessed a strategic sale are Bharat Aluminium, Hindustan Zinc Limited, Indian Tourism Development Corporation, Hotel Corporation of India, Maruti Suzuki India, Tata Communication India and of course Air India and of course the list goes on. For the last financial year, Modi government set an ambitious target of 1,75,000 crore, but was only able to achieve about 13,500 crore. For this financial year, government aims to achieve its target of 65,000 crore with big sales like LIC Phase 1, which has already been done, and to follow is IDBI Shipping Corporation of India and Concord. Deepam has reiterated that the aim of disinvestment is not targets but making worthy deals. In fact, Deepam says that its modest disinvestment receipt target of 65,000 crore is not a reflection of the government slowing down on privatization but is based on realism and a focus on smooth execution of transactions instead of chasing a high number. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.